welcome back to my channel um, about a month ago I um, made a video showing how to back a turquoise cabochon and this time I want to show you how to set a turquoise cabochon into a pendant I also want to show you some turquoise and then that way you can get a good idea of what American turquoise looks like and I can tell you a little bit about some of the mines and show you some turquoise rough so let's take a look at some turquoise Here's a map from an old postcard that shows the American Southwest and the mines. And this is the part of the country where most of the mines are. Probably the most popular and the most well-known are the Kingman Mine and the Sleeping Beauty Mine. Native Americans that lived in that area used turquoise in their jewelry a lot. I don't have a lot of examples to show you, but I have this old pin. Here are some cut stones that I wanted to show you. These are actually from the Kingman Mine. And these are from the Sleeping Beauty mine, and you can see um, these are like very light blue, and they don't have a lot of matrix or a lot of inclusions. And I have this really big piece right here. I actually got this from a homeless guy in San Francisco, and he had a whole bunch of stones that he cut, and I really like this one, so I bought it from him. I'm going to very quickly show you how I set this piece of turquoise into a pendant. I have this um, serrated bezel wire, so I think I'm going to use this looks pretty good. I will cut it and shape it and then I'll um, solder it onto this piece of sheet metal. I'll use this medium solder. This looks pretty good. The stone fits in the bezel nicely and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to saw it around the edges. I've sawed this and now I'm just going to um, file the edges down. This is a piece of wire that I've bent and I'm going to use that for the bow. It looks pretty good. I finished the setting and I just need to clean it up with some sandpaper, a file, and then I'll put the stone in and I'll polish the whole pendant. I'm at the last part. I have the stone in the setting and I need to tighten the setting around the stone so I'm going to be using these two tools. This one first followed by this one. So here it is finished. It's very simple and um, it has kind of a small double bezel. This might be the fastest thing I've ever made. Before I go, I just want to show you a few types of stones that are associated with turquoise, but they're not really turquoise. Like these two stones, they're called Caraco Lake Turquoise, but they're actually a mineral called Faustite. And when the mine, the Caraco Lake turquoise mine, was still um, being used, people were looking for blue turquoise and they would find the green and throw it out. They didn't really care for it, but now it's become collectible. And it took me a long time to find these, and I set them pretty quickly. I just love the green color. And the ring, the um, matrix, almost looks purple, which I think is really cool. And this mine is in Nevada. These are both called Varicite, and they're from Nevada. I don't know the exact mine that these two came from, um, different ones, obviously. I really like the black and white one. I think it's my favorite, because it's so unusual and strange. I hope you enjoyed this video on turquoise. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch my other videos.